Did you know there were some weapons brought back here to Goliad? Energy weapons taken from the clerics? I'd be interested in getting a look at them, if you know how I could get a chance to do that. Bertram? You seem very sus that you know exactly who has them. Tell me more. And if I did know something about them? That would be good. For both of us. Listen, what I need is some help. Let's be straight. You recently tracked down a pair of cleric weapons, didn't you? Is that an accusation? This is a small town with lots of big mouths. There aren't really that many secrets. So, have you given those weapons over to the pit? Or do you still have them? I know some people who would be happy to pay for them. The Berserkers don't want them. The clerics do. Oh. You a traitor. Are you some sort of traitor? Me? No, no, I'm no traitor. <clears throat> I just know some interested parties who would like to get hold of those weapons. I'm sure they would be grateful for your help. You'd be making some useful friends. Friends? You mean you're a cleric, or you know someone who is. That sort of accusation can get someone killed, so don't go shouting that at me. I'm no use to you dead. Besides, you can do with a friend, and the shards they bring. <clears throat> How much are we talking? What will you pay me for them? Of course, of course. I can offer you Alexit if you give them to me. That would only be fair. And should you wish to learn more about technology, I could point you to where answers can be found. Oh dear, okay. This is interestingly unfortunate because he's offering to give me a bit of an inside vouch for the clerics. Oh dear, dear, dear. You know what? I'm intrigued. I'll sell the weapons to you. Sell? No, think of this as a finder's fee. I'll make sure these get back to the right place. Probably wasn't for the best to do that, but yeah, no. Let's keep our options open. The berserkers seem a bit too fancy for me. Goldrum, sorry I sell the weapons before I give them to you, but that's how it goes. Now, who is I meant to go check, talk to down here? Just what will happen if we all begin to rely on machines? Yes, yes, yes. The machines and all that stuff. I was meant to talk to you actually about our friend. Well, I found Kral's diary. Where did you find it? And does it tell you anything useful? By the balcony of Ragnar's stronghold. Kral wrote about a mausoleum outside of Goliath. Maybe he went there. Then he has picked the perfect place to hide. I don't know anyone who would go willing into that mausoleum to search for him. It is a place for the dead. I'll go, if you tell me where it is. Very well. You will find the mausoleum in the area outside Goliath that is down below the pit, south, southeast towards the world heart. Tread carefully though. People are telling stories of some sort of undead creature there. Not that I believe in such things myself. Cheers. What else do we have to work with whilst we're all... Ah oh, yes, that one. Companions. If I make you a map marker, would I be able to see the map for it? Oh. Wasn't that convenient. The Crony U4 is just there. Guessing that's where the they store their 
items that they don't want to be able to get to maybe. Hmm. I still have to explore this section here, so I suppose we can go this way and then see what's over there. You should come with me. See something more than Goliath. With all the wounded there are these days, we can hardly keep up. That's more of a reason. If we keep doing the same things, this war won't end. Nothing we can do will end this war. Someone has to do something. Doing the same thing again and again, it's insane. But what can be done that the warlords haven't done already? We can take a risk. Isn't it more important that we win this war rather than how we win it? Come with me. I need someone to watch my back when I go look for some supplies. And I know I can trust you. I can't leave. Stormson, Cauldron is counting on me. And there are so many wounded. You patch them up, I want to give people a chance to fight back. If I can pull this off, you will have fewer wounded to worry about. Are you in need of medical supplies? It'll take time to prepare them, I'm afraid. With all the fighting, we haven't any stocks left. Do you help everyone who asks? It is a healer's duty, especially in these times of war. And it is needed, bitterly. Which is what I have heard from everyone we picked up. Terrible. I wish I could offer aid to all those in need. But it seems not even our magic helps us keep up with supplies. You must hear a lot about what's going on. I don't need to hear. I get to see the results. The magic the Albs are using is so destructive. Somehow they're managing to use pure Elex, and it makes me fear for our warriors. It's more powerful than Berserker magic? It's more destructive. With the damage it's causing, I can't believe it isn't tearing the Albs apart, too. It must hurt them. Hurt? Yes. But they're trained to reject emotions and feelings. Yes. They say Elex makes machines of men. But I have heard there are Alps who have escaped their addiction. I wish I could meet one. Knowing what they feel might help me assist others to overcome their addiction. What do you know about Elix withdrawal? I met an Alp separatist. He was brought in as a prisoner. His external wounds weren't so bad, but internally, emotionally, he was trying to cope with all those withdrawal symptoms, and at the same time, he was rediscovering his emotions. All that pain, all that confusion. What happened to him? Where is he? He died. It was all just too much. I wish I could have learned more from him. If he could leave, so could others. Maybe that could offer hope to us all. Can you heal my wounds? Let me have a look. You don't seem to have any broken bones. Here, I think this will aid you. Oh. I don't think I have survival one, but I'm gonna try this out anyway. Ah, oh, skill level two though. Fair enough. Thank you. We are here to heal. Besides, the more people who can patch themselves up, the less time we'll have to spend picking up the pieces. Make a good point, my dear. Who's this fine fella? He's just a healer. And I'm gonna guess Don't that everything... Try anything, all right? Pretty much I'm trespassing. What if I try to steal some healing plants? What then? Boom. Stolen. You, just a healer. It is quite an amazing view. Okay, so back on the trail then. It's so. And what is your crime? Um, what? I am Warlord Ragnar. Patron of this berserker settlement while Master Thorold is on pilgrimage. Anyone who commits a crime must answer to me. Emissaries from the other communities also have to speak to me first. So, are you an emissary? Why are you here? Speak. Uh, 
I was just trying to pass and you started talking to me, so I don't know how to answer this question. Let's be slightly evasive. I'm actually not from Medan. Oh, hopefully you have good news from the other lands. Otherwise, this will be a very short guest performance for you here. So you had better think very carefully about your next answer. Again, what exactly do you want here? Um... I've come to offer my services. I'm looking for work. You can prove yourself by helping the people of Vidan. There is more than enough work to go around. So if you want to be tolerated here, you must follow my rules. These rules are very simple. If you harm the Berserker community, you will pay. If you serve the community, you will receive fair compensation for it. I hope we understand one another. Because if not, you will have to answer to me. Is that clear? You're the boss. Yes, correct. The quicker you understand that, the better for you. Heed my advice, and you will find the Berserkers to be good hosts. Is there anything else? Oh, gosh. Evidently, there's a few things I can... Uh ask you. Master Thorold, what kind of man is he? Thorold is not here at the moment. The warlords are in charge of the day-to-day -day running, though all owe their allegiance to him, the Pilgrim. He has taken it upon himself to go into retreat, to seek the answers we need for Edan to survive. His knowledge of magic is superior to anyone's. If there is any person capable of solving the problems we face, it is the Pilgrim. Do you think the Berserkers can stop the Alps from conquering Edan? The Berserkers raised Edan from wasteland to forest. This is our home, and we will hold it. I heard you had taken heavy losses. War takes its toll. The clerics fought us, the outlaws have raided us. Now we must face the Alps. But the Berserkers' roots run deep into the ground here. And we have something to fight for. With magic, with self-belief and hard steel, we have returned as many dead Alves to Zekor as they have left Berserkers dead and dying here. Cormag, Angram, and myself will see the Berserkers stand firm. Talk to Angram if you want to know more. Where can I find Angram? Look for him in the Warrior's Quarter, near the Mana Shrine. Where is the Warrior Quarter? That would be near the Mana Shrine. If you wish to find something in Goliath, take your feet out of the door and find someone else to be your tour guide. Where can I buy armor like yours? Ha! <laughs> you can't simply buy a Warlord's armor. You don't even have the rank of a Cultivator let alone that of a warrior. And you want Warlord's armor? Yes. Why not? Slow down, friend. First proved to me that you would be a good cultivator. So, make yourself useful in the city, and we can talk about better armor for you. How is your war against the Alps going? Our war? This isn't a war of our choosing. They attacked us. Then they sent a party to construct a converter in the north of Edan. You'll find the metallic ruins of it there. And the soil around that monstrosity holds the bones of the Alves that came with it. Since then they have raided, rather than trying to hold ground in Edan. But who knows where and when they will strike next. Here, or in Tavar, or Ignodon. The war has hurt them, no doubt. Even their own kind has rebelled. There's a group of Alb separatists to the north. They continue their love of Elix machines, but they are fighting their own kind. 
Let's assume I help you out. Yes? What kind of special tasks would you have for me? Special tasks? Why would you figure that I need someone who can do more than just the usual? Because I see what's going on here. <laughs> Is it that obvious that we have some problems here in Goliath? <laughs> A fish rots from the head down. Don't go too far. I'm guessing wherever you came from sees conditions far worse than you'll find here, despite the attacks we are suffering. Bear that in mind before you criticize. But it also takes guts to confront me. So you really want to help us out? Yes. There are many things to be done. Our people are dedicated, but we still have supply shortages. Food, medicine, machine parts, and other equipment. There are too few cultivators in the fields. Speak to the people here, and they can tell you where your skills are best used. Earn their trust, and you may earn mine. And if you're planning to join us, then I will have a very special task for you. A lot of people come to me, looking to join us, to climb the ranks. You look like you have ambition. If you earn my trust, you'll go far here. About my support. I think I'm good to uh, uh, chatting to him further. Ah, we're in the little homestead area. My guess is if I go into any of these houses, people get angry. But we'll probably find people to chat. Hey, Bertram! So, is there anywhere to trade here? That depends what you want to buy. Traders need to be authorized what they can sell is restricted. You'll need to look elsewhere if you want energy weapons. Or anything more advanced than a hand-sharpened stick. And whatever you want to buy, you'll need to find the shards to pay. Say, you look like you could do with something to eat. Take this, as a gift. Oh, thanks, buddy. Tell me about these clerics. I'm intrigued by them now. Tell me more about the clerics. You know about the comet that struck our planet? Well, back before the impact, Magellan had technology that could take you into space or to the bottom of the ocean. So? So the clerics want to see that golden age return. We don't want to abandon all the things our people achieved. The clerics think that with Kalan's guidance, technology can sort out this mess of a planet, that it can mean safety and progress for all the free people. Is there anything else you don't like about Berserkers? Don't get me wrong, the people here can be fair, they help those around them, and there's the wonder that is Berserker magic. And if you follow their laws, you will find acceptance here, all of which is a thousand times better than you can expect from the outlaws people of Tavar might as well be mutants the way they turn on everyone and everything. What I don't understand is the hatred for clerics here. The wars of the past are long gone. The enmity should be buried. Certainly the clerics believe differently about technology, but that's no reason to hate them. Is it? It sounds like you've learned a lot about the clerics. What about you? Are you going to pledge allegiance to the berserkers? run off to the outlaw way of life or follow an interest in technology to the clerics uh. I'd like to know more about the clerics first I'd like to know more about the clerics is that so you want to learn of Kalan and the technology he offers those who follow him just the technology well, the journey to Ignadon wouldn't be easy but you would be welcome there. I can guarantee that. You don't think technology should be forbidden? Look at the people here. They want to change the world, but they're doing it one handful of soil at a time. You're staying here although you don't like it. There's something wrong about you. Tell me the truth. Okay, okay, you seem to have figured it out. 
Well, it's safer here behind these walls than out there with the mutants, particularly if you don't have an energy weapon. I was traveling in Idan with a comrade to scout for men and material. We found ourselves cornered by some mutants. I was the only one to survive the attack. I ran like there was no tomorrow and left my weapon behind. I'm glad they found me and brought me to Goliat. Besides, there are things to learn here. The more people I can convince while I am here, the better it is for everyone. Mm. Yeah, she said she saw him stealing just there, right in front of her. Who's that? The elves keep going like this. They're bound oh. to kill everyone. There's nothing for you here, so why don't Sorry. you just leave? Okay, I, I was just going. I was, I was just curious as to what you're talking about, but hi. You gonna get angry? Oh, this is an establishment. Okay. Cinda, what are you doing? Uh, another incomer. Are you here to trade, fight, or just add another mouth to the masses? Because unless we get help, I don't know how we're gonna keep feeding the people we've already got here. They are supposed to be able to conjure stuff up with their magic, but can they do that with supplies? Can they magic up the food we need? No, they can't. It doesn't sound like you're getting the help you deserve. Don't pretend like he feels sorry for me. People like you are only interested in the power that comes from magic, not the problems of common folk. Then, what does magic do for me when I'm hungry? In any case, I won't let myself be deceived. Even if our magic can protect us from what is out there, it is no replacement for a full stomach. What do you have to trade? You can take a look at our stock. The selection is more limited than I'd like, but it's what we have. Of course, if we weren't besieged by outlaws, albs, and we're still pen-pushing bureaucrats, I could offer you more. Are things really that bad in Goliath? That depends who you ask. I'm sure there are some who don't notice how hard it is for everyone at the bottom of the pile. Can we trade? Look around. Tell me what you need. <sighs> what do I need? Hey, I can actually afford some of this stuff, but... I feel... Oh, what's this to you? Common outlaw wrench, titans nuts, loosens brain cells. <laughs> nice. I've already got a hatchet in my disposal, so... Dark green cloth. Pull it up and escape the rain. Plus one armor. Costs 190 credits. It seems that buying supplies just doesn't seem like the right thing to do yet. I might spend my money on training myself up, maybe? Sildra! Teach me something. Of course. What have we got here? Gives 10 attribute points. Oh. Interesting. Oh, receive more experience of enemies kill. I need to be intelligent and cunning. Gosh. Oh my gosh, these skills, they just require too much. Fudge. I'm going to have to spend my points on this eventually, but crikey, that's a lot of things. Good. <laughs> it sounds like you have a problem. Oh, I wish it was only one. But let's start with the Isen clan, promising me regular deliveries from the Valley of the Damned, and then failing to get them for me. It's time Master Thorold returned from his retreat to put this right. But like everyone else, it seems like he has plans greater than, say, making sure everyone gets fed. If we don't get that food, we'll be living on hope and fresh air. Then why should you care if our warlords don't? You're right. Why should I care? 
My only motive is to keep people fed. If I'm going to achieve that, I need someone to talk to Angrim. I need someone to persuade him how serious the situation is. These warriors seem to think that fighting is the only thing that matters. But let's see them try fighting when they've not eaten for a week. Can you tell Angram that's how bad it is? That if we don't start getting boxes of supplies, then the only thing he'll have to eat is boxes. Where can I find this Master Thorold? The Pilgrim has been gone for so long, I'm not sure anyone knows where he is. He announced that he needed to go into retreat for some higher purpose, and that was it. You left. All we know is that his leaving had something to do with Elix and Mana. But what exactly... I don't think anyone knows. I will speak to Engram for you. Thank you. My hunters are doing their best. But we can't get by without those food supplies from the valley. Okay. Wow. More quests. And there's no sign on there at all saying that that's a, a trading post. That's got a mug on it. But I think I'm uh, I think I'm reached my exploration limit. Yes, yes. Uh, I just want to actually go and find the drone now, and then we can go and out in the wilderness, hopefully, and do yeah, some missions. I'm kind of feeling the itch. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. God dang it. Oh no, I can I can take a shortcut. That's fine, we don't have to follow the path of righteousness all, all the way. Ah, it's a long way down. That's alright. Okay. Oh dear. This is going to end up with us being killed. Unless we time it right. Fantastico. You there. My drone is out this way. This area is restricted. No entry. What is this place? This is the pit. Any elex, any forbidden technology that comes into Goliath, this is where it's kept. Move along there. Move along. Ah, <laughs> Rocky. Okay, that's where my drone is. I very much doubt I could sneak in. But we can certainly try. C come on. Did you, did you really... Did you really do that to me, buddy? Okay, it's got... Got anti-jetpack walls. <laughs> you shouldn't have given me a jetpack. So I'm gonna find a way in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who needs to fight people when you can go around them? Analyzing. Oh, system error. Crony. Hey, buddy. Assistance needed. You four. What are you doing here? You were supposed to have remained with me. Why did you leave the crash site? Survivor Protocol 7. Commander presumed dead. U4 unit attempted return to repair station. But instead you were found by the Berserkers? You're lucky you haven't been dismantled for your Elix. Are you able to come with me? System error. Failure of. Failure of. System error. Identify system error. Analyzing. Minor damage to primary systems. Defense system and weapons are offline. Primary control system impaired. Can you repair yourself? Analyzing. Negative. No repair possible at this location. Yeah, that would be too easy. Status report of our last mission goals. Primary goal. Locate and secure Thorold. Highest leader of the Berserkers, known as the Pilgrim. Mission status, failed. Secondary goal, secure data describing transmutation process of pure elex into mana. Mission status, failed. Tertiary goal, 
Scout Edan for weaknesses in the Berserker defenses. Mission status? Failed. Well, that was a success, huh? Negative. Commanding unit status? Privileges revoked. Execution ordered as a result of mission failure. Wow. Why did you leave the crash site? This unit was offline for 1,043 seconds. On recovery, U-4 could not locate the commander. My objectives were to complete the mission or return to base. System error. What do you need to complete repairs? This location isn't safe. Identifying. Nearest automated repair station is in North Abessa. Then go. But you four, you are not to report on my status. If asked about me, state that I died in the crash. I will meet you at the repair station in Abessa. Oh no, we entered the com... Um... Ah! You know anything about my execution? Then you don't know anything about my execution? Analyzing. Negative. Executions are standard ALB operating procedure for mission failure. Failure is not tolerated. It is against the directive. So they say. But executions end with death. Assumption. Commander must be using rare example of ALB humor. Yes. I'm joking you for. I mean, who would want to kill the great Commander Jax? <laughs> what data do you have on the crash? Analyzing. The Raider was on a direct approach to the primary mission goal. The Raider was hit by accurate ground fire. The shot hit an open port on the Raider. Evasion was not possible. Where did the fire come from exactly? Analyzing. Cannot positively identify. There were no indications of magic. Possible responsible parties, the outlaws, clerics, or Alps. <laughs> Albs too? What exactly do you mean? Analyzing. Possible indications that an Elex powered weapon was used. Albs use Elex operated weapons. Status of open port on the radar was unusual. Port could only have been opened and secured in place during maintenance in Alb repair station. I was told it was faulty. Why would our own people sabotage the mission? Analyzing. Motive unknown. Identity of shooter. Unknown. <laughs> There are some answers out there somewhere. You mean it could have been the clerics who shot at us? Analyzing. Flight was over Berserker territory. Clerics did not have much reason to defend the primary mission goal. Calculations indicate low probability of cleric participation. Could the outlaws have been responsible for the shooting? Analyzing. Capabilities and behavior of the outlaws difficult to calculate. Cannot state probability. What about the Berserkers? They would have at least had a motive to shoot me down. Analyzing. The ground fire was from an energy weapon, not magical in origin. Probability of Berserker participation, low. Hmm. That somehow means everything and nothing at the same time. Hmm. Bidden. Ha. Who's gonna stop me? Probably a whole bunch of people. Why is the Elix down here forbidden? Oh, why is the Elix down here in the first place? Ooh, a movement detector. Uh. Energy? What? I don't know, I was just looting things, man. Don't ask me. Okay, yeah, we're out of there now. Excellent, eh? Let's see what we got. I picked up a... A jackhammer or something, which... I'm guessing it's not a weapon. Drone control. Okay, um... Fascinating. Anywho, what was that thing that we completed, I... Guess... Energy. An to steal a movement detector from the pit. Okay. Honestly, I don't remember when that when that was given to me, but 
damage to do. Yep. Who asked me to get movement detector? Who knows? Anywho, uh, let me go talk to Juras, see if he wants to accompany me. Maybe that's not a good idea, but he's going to be very useful, at least. Then I might try and actually actually uh, step outside the village and do some scouting around out there. Oh, what's in here? 